So another one of the common derivatives that you're expected to memorize over in Calculus 1 is the derivative of ln of x, which is equal to 1 over x. But most of us never really know why the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So let's go ahead and prove that using implicit differentiation. So first what we want to do is we want to set our function y is equal to ln of x. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of the ln, that way we can isolate x. So what we can do is we can exponentiate both sides. So we're going to take e and we're going to raise it to the power of both sides of the function. So e to the y will be equal to e to the ln of x. Now e and ln are essentially inverses of each other so they cancel each other out. So all we have left on this side is going to be x. So e to the y is going to be equal to x, seeing as the e and the ln will cancel each other out. So e to the y is equal to x, and what we want to do now is we want to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So d by dx of e to the y is equal to d by dx of x. And this is essentially a y trapped within an e to the x function. We already know that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so we can differentiate that using the chain rule. So our outer function will be e to the x. The function which is trapped within our outer function is y. The derivative of our outer function is e to the x, and the derivative of our inner function is dy by dx, which is what we're going to be solving for later on. So what we can do is we can take f prime, substitute in g wherever it is that we see x. So this will become e to the y, and then multiply that entire expression by g prime, which is dy by dx. So let's go ahead and erase this. And then essentially what we've got over here is e to the y times dy by dx. is equal to the derivative of x on this side, which is just 1. So what we want to do now is we want to isolate dy by dx. So what we'll do there is we will divide both sides by e to the y, divided by e to the y, divide by e to the y, and all we will be left with is dy by dx on one side, which is e to the y. So dy by dx is equal to 1 over e to the y. Now we want to figure out exactly what e to the y is. Well one of the statements that we had made at the beginning of the video is that y is equal to ln of x. This also means that if we were to exponentiate both sides as we did before at the beginning, e to the y would be e to the ln of x. Once again these will cancel each other out. All we will have is x left on this side. Therefore e to the y will be equal to x. So we can substitute that in right over here. 1 over x is equal to dy by dx of ln of x using implicit differentiation.